Good afternoon, class. In today's video, what I'd like to do is to go over what I'm about to attempt in, um, in the world of craziness that is Mr. Two's Physics and Chemistry Corner. What I'm going to do this year is I'm going to try a food challenge. I'm going to go to Ina Grill, and they have the six-pound locomotive burrito where you get to have about 30 minutes to attempt to eat it all. It's about it's a six pounds, and I'm going to try my best to eat all of that food within the time limit. I have a few strategies for this, and I'm going to go over them in a little bit, but I did want to at least say this is what's going to happen. I'm pretty nervous about it. I've never done a food challenge before, so this will be definitely a new thing for me. I also wanted to um, point out that I'm going to try and use some physics and some chemistry to try and give me, some, give me the upper edge and allow me to win. We'll see how that goes. And so we'll, we'll see how that goes in the next, in the next set of um, videos. Here's my strategy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to recognize something from this picture here about the digestive system. The stomach can expand into however much it needs to. However, one of the things that happens is there is a limited number of space, as you can see right over here. There's a, there's a limited no amount of space that my stomach can expand because there's a, vol a definite volume to my body. I can't actually expand my stomach to proportions that are not natural or are outside of make, would make my skin stretch or something like that. So what I would do is in this case, I would, I would take the idea of giving myself as much room to fill it with food as best I can. And the way I'm gonna do that is the night before, I'm just not gonna eat anything that entire day. I'm gonna be completely fasted. And the reason why I do that is because I want to make sure my stomach is as small as possible and also that it is as empty as possible. And the reason why I want it to be as empty as possible is because then all of my other organs, like my small intestine over here, my large intestines, all of those have room to expand, especially if I've had a chance to um, get rid of all of the um, food that I've had from the previous day and not have anything else being in, in the digestive system here, it'll, it'll allow those organs to actually get pushed, up, pushed down a little bit more. Um, it'll help me to expand um, all the way up to the outer limits, which is basically my rib cage. So that's what I'm hoping for to make sure my, that my stomach over here can expand as much as possible so that I can fit the most amount of food that I can so that hopefully, hopefully, I can win this challenge. So here we are at the wonderful Ina Grill. Shout out to Ina Grill for all of their support. Right here, what you can see is the six pound locomotive burrito challenge. Right now it is three ma uh, piles of mac salad. It has um, cheese sauce on top. It has um, hamburger gravy, uh, fried onions, as well as about six fried eggs, six hamburger patties, and several pounds of rice in there. What you'll notice is that my lips is not, are not actually matching up with all of the um, the video that's going on. And the reason for that is because there was a little bit of music in the background that I had to, unfortunately, take out of the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm just showing, I'm doing a voiceover to show what's happening. And as you saw, right there was the first loss of the night with my fork just breaking. So there we go. And now it begins the taking on of this epic challenge. At first, I'm starting to make some pretty good time. I'm going in there, you know, hitting up all of the rice, eating as much as I can, trying to look for that first hamburger patty. Ah, and there I found it. However, you know, I, I was working on it and working through all of the, the eggs and the hamburger patty, which was very delicious, by the way. And I'm doing pretty good at that point. This is the point where I ask for some water because... I've seen challenges, food challenges in the past, and of course they ask for water. So I thought, oh, that was a good idea. My son earlier had asked for some water, and so that's why I was, I was saying maybe I should get some too, because that would only make sense. 
So as we continue with the rice, there I am packing down the rice, and now I'm hitting that second hamburger pack, patty. I'm also trying to make sure that I take into account all of the egg yolk on there because I don't want to leave too much of a mess. I want to make sure that there is um, no doubt that, that that I did finish it and that, that some of the, um, if there's any egg left, they wouldn't count that against me. And as you can see, I am halfway through. Whew, I'm, I feel like I'm rocking it at this point. Eat, celebrating with a little bit of mac salad there. But I'm also feeling pretty good. Like, on my stomach at this point is maybe, it feels 50% full. So, you know, with my confidence high, I take on the next part of the challenge. I'm starting to get some a little bit full. You know, now I'm at about 60 to 70% full. So I cut this, I cut the piece a little bit more. It was at this point right at that exact moment where I shook my head, where I started to hit the wall. At first I was like, you know, at first I was one bite, I was feeling fine, I was totally rocking it, and then, boom, I hit the wall, and that was where you saw my reaction, where I said, oh, this is really going to be hard. I did not expect that wall to hit that early and that hard. So... But I do have to admit, there was a lot of appreciation at that moment for all of the training that those professional food eaters go undergo because they they really have to work hard because th that wall, when you hit it, it is no joke. I think I never noticed it in the past because I wouldn't be focused solely on eating. All I would be doing was eating, talking, taking way longer than 30 minutes to try and actually finish this challenge. But as you can see here, oh, I'm already, you can see it in my face. This wall is getting harder and harder. I was at maybe 70% full right before I hit the wall, and I immediately went up to about 80%. Every single bite, it's like 5% more. 5% more. I'm trying at this point to talk and stall just a little bit. I'm starting to also get the idea, hmm, maybe this might be not doable for me tonight. So I'm trying to see what I can do. As you can tell, I'm getting really, really full. I can hardly concentrate on anything. Most of what I'm thinking at this point is... Please don't throw up. I know that sounds really gross, but I am re I really wanted to win this. But now I'm starting to realize, well, maybe a couple more bites, maybe a little bit more rice. I think I can do it. Maybe if I just let, slow my pace down, I can just keep going and maybe I can overcome it. I have time. The guy in charge said I had about 15 to 10, 10 to 15 minutes left. So at this point, I've got a couple more bites here. I'm looking at that hamburger patty and I'm like, I'm gonna eat this and I'm thinking I can do it. I, I'm, I'm like the, the um, I'm like the little engine that could. I think I can, I think I can. But after that last bite right there, that's when I realized, no, if I take any more, I'm going to barf. So I waved the white flag to say that I submit it was a really delicious challenge. However, it was just not my time to win. So now it's time to go into the re reflection stage of what happened during this challenge. So on the, so I lost. That was not such a great video um, in terms of me succeeding or being successful at this challenge. However, what I thought I'd do is reflect a little bit on the chemistry portion of this. In this chemistry portion, what I think I learned from this experience was that the thing that made me full was, was really the fried rice. It, and it was delicious, by the way. I, I can, still cannot get over how good that fried rice was. But I probably should have eaten that last. That should have probably been the last thing that I ate. I should have hit those um, hamburger patties first because I'm not going to lie. When I was going through that, the hamburger patties were like, they were the the thing that made me feel sick the most. I, I should have definitely had those first 
so that that feeling would have been deep inside of my belly and I would the rice would have been um, a welcome change of pace. So I did mess up on that part. I feel like that would be something that I would need to uh, tweak for the next time that I do this challenge or any food challenge. I'll probably hit the protein first because that will make me feel uh, that would be the most dense thing that I'm going to be putting into my belly. So that's what I think I'll be working on um, for the next time. So, I mean, that I, is a learning experience, my first food challenge ever. So, you know, you learn, you learn and get better as time goes on. So thank you much for, thank you so much for joining me on this, on this journey. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe to Mr. Chu's Physics Corner and Chemistry Corner. Uh, have a great rest of the day. I'll see you in the next video.